Like and subscribe, or this spider will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. People around the world have different sets of values. Some are more shocking to us than others. It is also a reality that our ways of living aren't the only ways of living. So let us take you through a journey into the lives of the scariest tribes you just might not want to meet. Sentinelese Tribe Dubbed as the most isolated tribe in the world, the Sentinelese tribe have managed to captivate the imaginations of millions ever since its discovery. Residing in the North Sentinel Island, the people from this tribe have shown extreme hostility towards the outside world for a number of times. John Allen Chow, an American preacher who illegally entered the island, never made it back to his home. It is rumored that the tribe people assassinated him. Entering the island has been made illegal, and a boundary has been set to discourage people from entering the island in order to protect the tribal people, because these people have zero immunity against the modern diseases, as they tend to attack anyone who tries to get close to their land. There is so much mystery and fear surrounding the people of this tribe. Korowai Tribe this isolated tribe might be the last of the cannibals. These people were once so cut off from the world that they were unaware of any existence outside their tiny community. Although modernization has changed them, they still believe in witchcraft, voodoo, and evil spirits. And the person who casts them on someone else is given one punishment. They are consumed by the community. And when I say consume, I mean consumed as in eaten. All the fights are caused on the suspicion of witchcraft. These people are master builders and can build really beautiful tree houses, but people are still afraid of them because of their scary rituals. Suri Tribe Body modification is pretty common among the people from different tribes. It represents their unique culture and values. Extreme body modification can come across as pretty shocking for an outsider. As shocking as it may sound, Suri women are accustomed to wearing a clay plate on their lower lip. This southern Ethiopian indigenous tribe lives close to the border of South Sudan, in an isolated part of the upper Omo Valley. The girls start stretching their lower lip from the beginning of their teenage years, and over time, it becomes enlarged and wobbly. It is seen as a sign of fertility and beauty. The Suri tribe is notorious for its weird and bizarre traditions. Suri is one of the last African groups who still wear these clay plates. Asma Tribe Located in the southwest part of the island of New Guinea, Indonesia, the Asma Tribe came to the limelight after the 1961 disappearance of Michael Rockefeller. This tribe is famous for its former tradition of headhunting and cannibalism. Michael went to the island to collect the local art, but his boat was met with an accident. And unfortunately, his whereabouts never came to light, despite a lot of efforts. There are a lot of theories regarding what happened to the poor guy, but one theory got extra attention. According to it, after Michael's boat was overturned, he swam to the shore, where the Asma tribe found him. They assassinated and ate him, as the tribe is famous for its headhunting and cannibalistic traditions. Chimbu Tribe what would you do if you see a group of men dressed as skeletons coming towards you? These are the men from the Chimbu or Simbu tribe. This tribe is located in Papua New Guinea. This warrior tribe has developed some pretty unusual tactics to psychologically intimidate their opponents. They cover their body in black and white paint to make themselves appear scarier, perhaps more like from the afterlife. The body paint combined with the eerie dance creates a really fearsome environment around them, scaring the enemy away. But nowadays, these men dress up as skeletons just to celebrate their special festivals rather than going to war. Asaro Tribe Appearing quietly one by one, holding different weapons or wearing red bamboo claws. But before you know it, you'll be surrounded by the ghosts of New Guinea. The Asaro tribe is also known as Holosa, which literally translates to ghosts. These people cover themselves in clay, wearing eerie clay masks which makes them appear gray in color. They may seem scary, but these people are the least violent people, 
and they have adapted their scary appearance in order to avoid wars. They scare away their enemy by appearing like ghosts and spirits, so that they don't have to fight. That's a pretty smart move. Kazakhs. Living in the most remote regions of Western Mongolia's Altai Mountains, where the temperature can get below zero degrees, the Kazakhs eagle hunters are some of the most fearsome men on this planet. They train the fierce golden eagles to hunt small animals and birds for them. Their strict weathered faces and clothes made with animal skin can strike fear in anyone's heart. This art of eagle hunting has been around since the Bronze Age and was liked by the toughest and most feared men in history, like Genghis Khan. Dani Tribe Western New Guinea is home to more than 300 tribes. Most of them have not come in contact with outside civilization yet. The Dani tribe is one of these tribes that have come in contact with the outside world, but still prefer to live how they've always been living. This tribe is famous for a number of its unusual traditions, which includes their unique underpants known as koteka, which are worn by the male members. They are more famous and feared for their self-mutilation practices. Like when their loved ones die, the women from this tribe chop off the tip of their fingers to represent their pain, sadness, and their respect towards the departed members of their family. Mashko Piro Living in voluntary isolation in Peru's southeastern Amazon, the Mashko Piro tribe has been really aggressive towards the small community of Monte Salvado, living near the border with Brazil. In 2014, this tribe came out of the forest in a group of 200 armed men. They raided and attacked the village with their arrows and spades, stole the food, clothes, killed the domesticated animals, creating fear and panic among the community. This interaction lasted for three days, but fortunately, no one was hurt. The tribe used to visit before, but only to ask for a few things from the villagers. But that interaction was different, which led to the government helping the villagers in escaping the forest and finding a safer place. This shows how dangerous and unpredictable these uncontacted tribes can be. Sater Maw Tribe the Sater Maw tribe of the Amazon became famous because of their extreme rite of passage into manhood. They sweep through the forest looking for the bullet ant nests. Once the nest has been located, they harvest the ants and bring them back to their village. These ants are then woven into a mesh made of palm leaves. Their stingers are placed on the inside of the mesh, and then these woven ants are placed inside a pair of gloves that has to be worn by the men for at least 10 minutes. Every maw man has to go through this ritual at least 20 times in his life. They dance as they endure the pain from the bullet ant stings. Although the ritual lasts only 10 minutes, the pain remains for the next 24 hours. The community supports the men through these painful moments. They believe that the toxin from the sting helps them in getting immune to diseases, and going through this pain brings boys closer to real manhood. Zigawa Tribe this has to be the bravest tribe on the list. Humans have developed an instinctual fear of snakes, and most of us would like to stay a thousand miles away from them. But the Zigawa tribe from southwestern Tanzania is determined to change everyone's perspectives on snakes. These men get trained all their lives on how to handle snakes, even the poisonous ones as well. They travel and perform with snakes, spreading awareness among the other tribes on how to safely handle snakes. While performing, they let the snakes slither all over them like it's no big deal. They really make snakes seem like kittens. And now, let us move on to our subscriber pick of the day. This image was sent to us by one of our subscribers. Similarly, if you ever wish to know more about an image you come across, just send it on over to us. Who knows, we might even feature it in one of our videos. There are so many tribes around this world that haven't established any contact with outside civilizations. This picture shows just that. The first impression of a tribal man from the deserts of the Sahara upon seeing a woman in colorful clothing. This nomadic tribe has been living in the most remote part of the Western Sahara and hasn't had any contact with the people from the Western countries. 
When this man first saw these women, he was gobsmacked and started inspecting them like they were a new species of human. After he got familiar with these women, he then took them to his tribe, where everyone was dressed uniformly in the same material and same color. The woman described this as an extremely surreal and an out-of-body experience. Agori Tribe This is the most feared tribe in India. The Agori people take care of the ashes for the cremated people. They also consume human flesh and drink out of human skulls! For these people, death is a part of life, and one can become fearless if they overcome the fear of death. Agoris are great at scaring people because of their scary appearance and their aggressive behavior towards normal people. Thank you so much for watching! Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more entertaining videos. Bye!